Okay, here's a wheel well we're going to make. Uh, it's 19 gauge cold roll sheet metal. To start with, we need a surface development pattern to be able to lay out our blank. I start with paper since paper is sold the same way sheet metal is. So we'll lay the paper on here, use magnets. If the wheel well happened to be aluminum, you could also use magnets. Just put one on either side. We're going to place our weld seam right in the middle. First thing to do is to propose where the shrinking is going to occur. Since this is a high crown, traditional high crown piece, we could make it in three pieces by stretching, having two sides and a top with a seam down the highlight line. But in this case, since we have the power hammer and we can actually shrink, we'll make this in two pieces. I'm proposing tucks in the paper where the shrinking will occur. Before I pull them over, I like to just put them as proposed and as I determine that they're even, then we'll actually fold them over. There we go, we're adjusting them, trying to get them about the same size. Okay, now we'll fold them over. If you notice the paper wrinkles where there's not enough additional paper to actually fold, and that indicates that there's still a compound curve there. You see that this center is really flat, there's really no compound curve, kind of a given. Here's our center. Now we'll trim the paper. Okay, now I like to determine where the highlight line is. That's the intersection of the two surfaces. In this case, it's a three inch radius. And you can put the radius gauge on and turn it until it starts to lift and right where it lifts, that's the beginning of the highlight line. The paper won't be able to fold there, but it will still be just a little bit loose. And that's going to be the inside of our shrink. Here's our highlight line, there's our paper pattern.